Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Queens of Wrestling event. We are now in day two of this qualifying event. Of course, the winners of both Justice and Anarchy will move on to represent MCWA in Queens of Wrestling. Here we go on with day two, starting off with the winners of the previous two matches that happened on day one. We have 1010 taking on Lincoln. We've seen 1010 pretty much take it to Scootaloo. And in what I could consider an upset, but some may not, 1010 actually defeated Scootaloo. It was quite an upset to me, but to others it may not be as much. Because 1010 does have actual fighting experience, being from the Hidden Leaf Village and all that. 1010 is in the ring, she's definitely looking confident. And she should be. Meanwhile, she has a tough task ahead of her in the form of Linkle. Linkle put on an impressive display against Athena Sykes yesterday, and then she hit the Legend's crossbow, which put Athena down for the count. Linkle is also part of the Air Connell Championship vote, which is now closed. So, Lincoln might be going into Cyber and Sandy with the chance of being the first ever Air Connell Champion. That would be big for someone like Lincoln. Lincoln, she's a relative rookie into the business. I think this is the first promotion that actually uses Lincoln. Although, not to say that other promotions don't really use Lincoln all that much. This is just the first one that I know of. Winkle is in the ring. She's definitely looking confident. And she should be. Here we go. 15 minutes on the clock. Winkle goes behind 10 10. Oh, that was counting out. Whoa. Winkle got out of that predicament. And oh, that shot was withstood. Kick blocked. Oh, turning her around. And now, oh. 1010 gets back up and whoa, oh, there's a kick to the gut. Spinning ninja style kick. Now Linko goes behind and now 1010 goes behind with an abominable stretch. Linko gets out of it. And now, oh, chop to the back. You can't block that. And now, whoa, nice kick by Linko. Get out of trouble. And now Linko missing the drop kick. 1010 with a palm strike. And now, 1010. 10 has got Linko in a neck breaker. A nice neck breaker. And now, going into the Dragon Sleeper. 1010's got on that Dragon Sleeper tight. Let's go of it. And now, oh. Now, oh, turns her around. And now, Linko's got 1010 for it. No. And now, oh, there's that kick. It took Linko off her feet. And now, well, Tenta, whoa! That's One, an interesting pinning predicament. Two. Only gets a two count, though. We haven't even entered two minutes into this match, and already we're going in 100 miles an hour. There's a gut run suplex. Now, Linko going One, for the cover. One, two. two, and no! From what we've seen, it'll take a lot more to keep Ten Ten down. Now, Ten Ten working on the arm. Definitely smart. Now 1010 going up top for diving cross body. One, There's the two. cover after that. And no, only gets a two count. We just passed the two minute mark for this matchup. And now Linko going behind 1010. And now, whoa. 1010 going behind Linko. Linko uppercut. And now, oh, jump. That was with stud. And now, oh, Linko going behind. Now 1010 going behind. There's a dragon sleeper again. And now 1010. 1010's got that Dragon Sleeper on tight. Let's go of it though. And now. Oh, 1010 again. Oh! She missed that kick. But I think Linkle might be trying to recuperate. And now, whoa! Linkle definitely took some time to recuperate. And it might have paid off, except now she's in a headlock. That's probably gonna make that Dragon Sleeper a lot more effective. 
Although, one thing to remember is that submissions only give you four points, whereas pinfalls give you five. Which, I don't know why that is, to be perfectly honest. I'm probably gonna ask D-Wall about why submissions aren't worth as much as pinfalls. But, I guess it may have something to do with old-school women's wrestling, where people use submission finishers more. But, other than that, I have no idea why. Anyway, back to this matchup. Linkle with a chop. Now Linkle going, no. 10-10. 10-10 with the headlock. Definitely smart on her part to go after the head. That's where most of the brain is. Well, actually, that's where all the brain is. What the heck am I saying? And now, oh. 10 10 with a tiger spin. Or I guess you could say it's a dragon spin. And there's an interesting submission. 10 10 with that submission. It looks very interesting. And let's go of it. But I think it did some damage. And now, oh, forearm blocked. And now, Linko. Well, Hurricane Rana from Linko. There's the cover. Two, two and no. 10 10 was looking on her Linko skirt. And now. Oh, nice, Senzigiri! And now, Linkle with a Bulldog! Linkle doing a really good job at keeping... Whoa! That's a unique submission! Kinda looks like a Disarmor? I'm not entirely sure. Now, oh! There's a chop from Linkle. Now, Linkle going for a... Uh... Oh! That was a nice maneuver. Modified suplex. There's a sleeper hold. 10 10 gets out of it. And Linko was clutching her head. Causing 10 10 to get a perfect opportunity to hit that dragon suplex. Whoa, no, 10 10 with the cover. And no! Only gets a two count. Now, whoa! Linko. Throws 10 10 to the corner. There's a splash. And now Linkle. Linkle's got 10 10 up for it. Oh! That was an interesting maneuver. One, There's the cover up two. And no! Only gets a two count. That was close. And now the two of them are blocking their own strikes. And now Linkle. Snap their takedown after the roll around. And now Linkle. Oh, 10 10. Whoa! That was a nice maneuver. And now, whoa! Now Linko going to throw 10 10 to the ropes. And flapjack! And now, Linko going back to that submission. It seems to be effective. Mate, it's hard to counter, it would seem. And now, oh, Linko. Whoa, 10 10 goes behind. Nine minutes on the clock. This is easily one of the longer matches that we've had so far. Now Tencent's got the headlock on tight. Linkle doesn't submit. I don't think I've ever seen someone tap out to a headlock. There's a Bulldog. The referee got in the way. And now Linkle going for a headlock of her own. That headlock is on. Linkle's clutching her head. And now Linkle. Whoa! Oh, what a strike! And now Tensa is going back into that pinning predicament. One, There's two. the cover up that end. No! Oh, he gets a two count. That could have been it. And now Linkle. Oh, Linkle with a submission hold, kind of like a sleeper. Tensa does not give up. And there's a chop. Tenten was a little stunned. Now going for a no. Linko gets out of it. And Linko, oh nice. Linko right now doing. Linko and Tenten are in a very interesting predicament. Tenten missing the chop and Linko. Tenten dodged. And now Tenten. Tenten's got Linko up. For the Tornado DDT! Tornado DDT from 10 10. One, I think two. that might be a 10 out of 10, but it only gets a 2. A 2 out of 3 from the referee. Now 10 10 looking to end it. No! 
Linko obviously had that scouted. And now Linko going for something. No, Tencent had that scouted. The two of them have obviously seen each other's matches. Now Tencent. Oh, nice form strike. Linko is back up. Missed the clothesline. Back up again. Forearm shot. Man, this matchup is going pretty fast. And now, Fireman's carry. Now, Tenshin gonna try to slow it down with the Dragon Sleeper. But Linko gets out of it. Took some time to get up. So, obviously, Tenshin's strategy is working. But Linko going back to that submission. And Tenshin. Well, Linko. Linko now. Oh, Hurricane Rana from Linko. Whoa. There's two. the cover, two and no! Oh. Only gets a two count. Oh, that shot was blocked, but Tenten is clutching her head. Obviously, something was hit. Now Tenten with the chops. And sit out, face crusher. Tenten, now going back into that dragon sleeper. No! Tenten was hit in the head. Oh, that shot was blocked. And now, Ten Ten! No! Linko goes behind! Linko! Sherman Suplex! One, There's the cover! Two. two and! No! That was close! Linko is tired out! And now, a single like Boston, probably something to keep herself busy while recovering. And something to keep Ten Ten away from actually gained an advantage from any of this. Ten Ten tried gain an advantage. And that chop was blocked. A kick blocked. And chop! Linko unable to do anything about it. She's moving relatively slow. Going back into that single leg Boston. The submission is in. Break! And Ten Ten reaches the bottom rope. Forcing the break. But I think the submission gave enough time for Linko to get back into a good... Wait a minute, armbar! Armbar from Tencent out of nowhere! This could be it! She's got the arm on tight! Let's go of it! And now Linko... Oh, Linko's gonna go back into this maneuver! That pile driver-like maneuver! Now Linko going up top! What the heck is she thinking? I think Linko just taking time. Wait for Tencent to get up. She's up, man. Oh! She didn't get all of it. But she might have gotten enough of it, enough One, of it to get the win. Two. two and no! Only gets a two count. Tencent gets out of that predicament. And now Tencent looking for something. No, Linko gets out and goes to the outside. Linko is running low on stamina, One, it would seem. Two, so it's pretty smart for her to go to the outside. Three, Tencent, four, being the honorable person that she is, is five, waiting on Linko to get back in. Six. Linko has until the 20 count, but gets back in at 6. Although, she probably should have gotten in at 16. One, Wait a minute, there's a victory roll! Only gets a 2 count. That was close. Now Tencent blocked that punch. Oh! Palm strike from Tencent. And now Tencent. Whoa! Linkle back up on her feet and Bulldog! And now Linkle got a lock in the headlock trying to slow this match down. Three minutes are on the clock. These two have to end this fast in order to get four or five points. If this goes to a time limit draw, they both get three points each. And I am not totally sure they want that. Right now, Ten Ten picking up Linko. Into the ropes. Jumps over. And oh, missed the forearm shot. But Linko missed the drop kick. And now, oh, Linko, no. Ten Ten goes behind and locks in a headlock. Anything to stabilize Linko's head. Oh, a kick to the back. And now, Ten Ten. Oh, no. German suplex. 
from the top rope. Now Tenzin oh, going for the two. cover. This could be in it. No. This matchup is getting close. Linko is down, but gets back up. There's a sleeper hold from Linko. Nothing. And now, Linko. Oh, Linko's gonna go into this. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm for Linko. Nope, Tenzin's back up. And now, looking for the no. Linko. Linko could be looking to end this now. No. Tenzin. No. These two can't hit each other with their own finishers. Linko trying to go for the Legends crossbow. I think Tencent's looking for the Dragon Driver. They just can't seem to get each other's finishers. And now, oh! That drop kick was... That drop kick missed. And now Tencent with a tire spin. One minute on the clock. If this matchup doesn't end within the minute, it's a time limit draw. Now Tencent, oh, Tencent with that forearm shot. And Tencent with the moonsault. She could be looking to end this. Tencent going up top. Tencent. Oh, crossbody missed. No, Tencent back up. And now Linko in the corner. No. Now Linko going up top. Wait, no, bad time. Now 10-10. Frankensteiner from the top rope. This could be it. No. Winkle's back up. And now, look. 10 cent looking for the no. 10 seconds. They need to end this. Winkle. Legends crossbow. But there's not enough time. The time has expired. And this is a draw. Winkle and Tencent. Hit the 10 minute, the 15 minute time limit. This is a time limit draw, meaning that both Linko and Tenten get three points. Oh my goodness, what a match. Even if there's no decisive winner here, they put on a clinic. And I am certain that if we see these two in the finals, they're going to put on a way better match. But I think everyone here knows that the time limit was just a little longer. Winkle would be the winner of this match. No doubt. Tenten making her way to the back. Winkle and Tenten get three points each. No one gets anything from that. How in the world are you going to top that? Well, I guess one thing we could try is debuting a new MCWA star. This is Fabiola Iglesias. Now, her attire is very similar to Roberta from MCWA Anarchy. And that's primarily because she's also... She also has the same little backstory. She is a maid for the Lovelace family. She's not exactly the head maid or anything. But she is a maid for the Lovelace family. Which is where the attire kind of comes from. Anyway, Fabiola is making her debut here tonight. And she will take on Scootaloo in a one-on-one -on -one match. Scootaloo seemed like she wasn't herself at some point uh, yesterday. But she was herself for the most part. But let's see how she does against the newcomer, Fabiola. Some people have said that they have high hopes for Fabiola in this tournament. I kind of consider her the dark horse of this tournament. Meanwhile, Scootaloo, a veteran in some cases. She's been in the ring, and she is tough. But maybe on her mind is the possibility of facing Jeffrey Albright in a crazy matchup. A matchup that
could be possible revenge on Scootaloo's mind. That might be the thing clouding her head. But we'll see how she's able to cope with that and the possibility of being the queen of wrestling. Scootaloo definitely looking very confident going into this matchup. The matchup is underway. As you can see, Fabiola is a bit on the short side. But I won't count her out just because of her size. We have a bunch of short guys who have made a big name for themselves. We've had guys like Edward Elric make a name for himself. We've had, I guess you could say, we had Rey Mysterio. That's just one and out. Oh, schoolgirl from Fabio. Oh, that's gonna be it already. Oh, he gets a two count. Oh, that kick was blocked. And now Scootaloo captures Suplex. Scootaloo taking it to the newcomer. Right now, Fabio really doesn't have anything going for her right now. There's a spine buster from Scootaloo. There's one, the cover. One, two, two and no. Well, I do have to admit, Fabiola seems to be tough. And she is fast with those kicks. And now Fabiola showcasing her strength with a short of slingshot into the ropes. Those ropes aren't exactly comfortable to land on. Oh, school back up. Oh, Fabiola just elbowing the knee. And there's a Bulldog from Fabiola. And now Fabiola going for the headlock. Locking in that headlock tight. And now Fabiola. Fabiola. Oh. And now Fabiola is going behind. And now going back up front. Sidewalk slam. And there's the cover up to Sidewalk slam. Only gets a two count. And now, Fabiola Suplex! I have to say, Fabiola's doing a really good job right now! I'm impressed! She's... She's practically stabilizing Scootaloo, making sure she cannot use her speed and power! Meanwhile, Fabiola seems to be able to use her speed and power just fine! Fabiola seems very well-rounded! In every single category. And now, oh, there's a punch from Fabiola. Now Fabiola going into the hammerlock. The hammerlock is in. And she lets go. Oh, that was blocked and out low. That could have been bad. And now Fabiola with a beautiful Whoa. German two. suplex. Only gets a two count, though. Like I said, Fabiola is doing really well right now. I am impressed. Fabiola. I think Scootaloo might be in trouble. Oh! A kick square to the jaw. But Scootaloo was able to counter. Good time, too. And now Scootaloo. No! Fabiola had that scouted. Scoo was likely looking for the scooter drive. One of her finishing maneuvers. And now Fabiola pulling Scoo away oh, after a straight two. kick. Only gets a two count. And there's a kick to the head again. Fabiola sure likes that kick. But it's keeping Scootaloo down. Definitely a good stun. Definitely a good stun tactic. And now Fabiola. It also showcases Fabiola's agility, come to think about it. And now, oh, Scootaloo gets out of that. And now punching, clothesline. And now Scootaloo, with some punches, throws Fabiola into the corner. There's a splash. And now Scootaloo jumps over. And no, Fabiola counters. And oh! Knee to the gut! And there's Break. the cover! Too close to the ropes! There's some of that inexperience coming into play. 
Fabiola did not pull Scudo away from the ropes. And that could have been it. Wait, Fabiola. Frankensteiner from the top rope. And now Fabiola. Fabiola. Oh, kick square to the head. And there's Break. the plunge like powerbomb. Too close to the ropes. Fabiola's obviously frustrated. But she's going to go for it again. That is a big devastating And that got it. I have no idea what she calls that. But it looks interesting. Fabiola picks up five points in her debut match. She's setting herself up for success. There was that combat like two, maneuver. Three, and that's what got the win for her. Fabiola picks up five points. Going into the rest of the Queens of Wrestling event. Meanwhile, Scootaloo still at point blank. Settled.